Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, 77 cutty, black with the purple. Alright, what's good, Ravens fam? So, y'all remember this dude that was like pure sources? Um, we see that you buffed up, Lamar. Pure sources. Uh, they 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 saying that you don't like to work out. Y'all remember that? Yeah. If you don't, here's the refresher. Alongside Baltimore Ravens starting quarterback Lamar Jackson and Lamar, it seems like every time I see you, you're getting a little bigger, getting a little getting a little yeah. thicker, a little muscular. Yeah. I hear that you don't like working out though. Tell me about that. Who said that? Uh, sources. What sources? <laughs> I don't know about that. I had to do something to get this size. You know. That's true. That's true. That's true. What <laughs> what what all are you doing in the in the gym right now? A little bit of everything, you know, legs, on the usual, you know, just eating right, that's all. Yeah, are you still as fast as you have always been? Yeah, I think so. I just didn't have to show it yet, so you're going to see when the season comes. Yeah. So his name is Jonathan Jones, and he got another Pure Sources. Pure Sources, it's my understanding that the Ravens did, did not fully integrate quarterback Lamar Jackson into the hiring process for their new offensive coordinator. <clears throat> so many people called him out on that line. And one of the favorite reporters I like is Jeff. And Jeff straight up put out there, because people know Jeff will tell the truth. Obviously, this guy is a 100% liar. So, Jeff put out there, my understanding was he was given multiple opportunities to provide input, be involved. So all of them offensive coordinators that Lamar, uh, I'll say Lamar, that the Ravens have had, it's a possibility they could have contacted Lamar or Lamar could have told them, at the end of the season, this is type of offensive coordinator that I want to help me continue to get better and to spread the ball around. Now, we have that. Shout out to Coach, Sip to Tally, breakdown of the film, very awesome. I was one of those people, and I can admit when I was wrong, because when I heard the first reaction of him, I was upset. I know people was like, he's a two-time champion. I can understand that. But I was just concentrating on the fact that I was like, Eric Ebony, Super Bowl is over. They is finally going to interview him. But they didn't interview him, not once. And that was like, made me very upset. But with this hire, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Um, this video is really about the liar, uh, line, uh, Jonathan Jones, what he did, but I'm cool with the hire coach broke it down, everything, the man. And I even looked at other people, um, uh, breakdown and all 22, uh, the man, Georgia, he fed the tight ends, but Georgia didn't have no wide receivers. Pickens was gone. And he just, everywhere he went, he feeds the best players on that team. And that's just like, and one of the best players he's going to have is Lamar Jackson at the quarterback position to feed the other good players. So, man, just thinking about that, that's going to be nice, man. That's going to be nice. At first, I was, we all been through it. I, I'm not ashamed to admit I was tripping. I was tripping, but. I'm liking the hire. I, I, yeah, I'm liking the hire. After all my research I did, I'm liking the hire. But yeah, so this dude right here, I just, it's just say it, just Jonathan Jones. It's just say it. But anyway, everybody, um, be on the lookout. I'm thinking about doing a live. I'm not sure if the if the kids will let me, because if you can see her, I'm in the background right now. Yeah, yeah, at 24-7. But uh, everybody stay safe. God bless. And uh, be on the lookout for a live. Might happen. Just hit that note. Hit that notice. Notify. Not notify. Notify.